Hi children, how are you all? Are you all fine? I hope you all are fine and well. Okay, let's begin a subject math and chapter decimal. So, how to solve sum in decimal that we will see. So, look at this board here. Sums are given, four sums are given, and the first number sum 20 plus 6 plus 3 by 10. So, it is very easy to solve 20 plus 6 plus this 3 by 10 is given, that we will write in the decimal form 0.3. We will write we will change this fraction form into the decimal form. Here, 0 0.3 means the point, decimal point is given. Now, it is very easy to add 20 plus 6 is 26 plus 0 0.3 means 26.3. Very easy to add 26.0. Plus 0 0.3. So 26.3. It is very easy to add. Here we can add C 26.0 plus 0 0.3. Then 3 is given. 6. 26.3. So this way we can add that sum. Now next one we will see 300 plus 30 plus 3 plus 3 by 10 and 3 by 100. So this sum also like same method 300 plus this 30 will be like then 3 plus this fraction form is given. So, we will change in decimal form 0 0.3 plus here 3 by 100 is here, here 3 by 10, here 3 by 10 is given and here 3 by 100 is given. So, now this is 3 by 100, so 0 0.03. So, now it is very easy to add 300 plus 30 plus 3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 means 333 333.33 333.33 is the answer. So, this solution is given here. We can write C. 300 plus that 30 plus this 3 plus that 3 is given 0 0.3 here 0.0 we can write 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 so this sum we will do exactly will get answer 333.33. Yes. So these are the facts. Next thing is that that 70 plus 9 plus 1 by 10 plus 2 by 100. 3 by 1000. So, same method will apply 70 plus 9 plus 0 0.1. 1 by 10 is given in fraction form. We are changing in decimal form. Okay, next we have 0 0.02. Because 2 by 100 is given. So decimal point that is 2 tap back. Now 3 is given. 3 by 1000. So 
जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री यू कैन सी दिस इन दिस टर्म आल्सो विच इज द थ्री बाय टेन एंड थ्री बाय हंड्रेड दे आर गिवन इन फैक्शन फॉर्म इट चेंज इन द डेसिमल फॉर्म सेम वे हियर आल्सो वी चेंज द वन बाय टेन मींस जीरो पॉइंट वन टू बाय हंड्रेड जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू एंड थ्री बाय वन थाउजेंड सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो थ्री सो दिस थिंग विल ऐड विद ऑल नंबर वी विल ऐड देन विल गेट आंसर टेन सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन हंड्रेड ट्वेंटी थ्री मींस सेवेंटी नाइन पॉइंट वन ट्वेंटी थ्री सो दैट आंसर विल कैरी हियर यू कैन सी दैट दैट सेवेंटी नाइन प्लस दिस नाइन प्लस यू कैन राइट दैट डेसिमल पॉइंट देन वन बाय दैट सो विल राइट जीरो पॉइंट वन टू वी हैव डन जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू सो विल राइट दैट जीरो पॉइंट जीरो टू एंड प्लस दैट थ्री इज दी वन सो जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो Three. We can make them that like decimals also. See, now we will add. We will do addition of this. Then three, two, one, point is the one. Then we can write that here. Here we have written that seventy. That here seven zero. Seven zero, so seventy nine point one hundred twenty three. So that is the sum. Okay, next sum is there. That you can see one hundred fifty plus two by hundred. So we'll see here one hundred fifty plus two by hundred. So two by hundred. So we will do that. Zero point zero two. Zero point zero two. Now one hundred fifty point zero zero plus zero point zero two means one hundred fifty point zero two. One hundred fifty point zero two. So this is the sum. It is very easy to solve that. Fraction form we need to change into decimal form. Here, this all fraction form we change into decimal form, and we are getting that very easily we can solve this sum. Here, the seventy is given, so seven zero seventy plus nine plus nine one by ten, so zero point one two by hundred zero point zero two three by one thousand zero point zero zero three. So this way we can solve and see the other solution of this all next one. Okay, thank you, children. Bye. Hi, children. How are you all? Are you all fine? Hope you all are fine and well. Okay, let's begin a subject math. And chapter decimal. So, first of all, we learn some examples. You can see here some examples are given, and they are in fraction form. We learn how to change that fraction form into decimal form, and here some examples. Are given of decimal form. Then we learn how to change in fraction form. So you can see here some examples are given of fraction form. We change into the decimal form, and here some examples are given of that decimal form. We change into the fraction 
form. So first of all, we see that change the following into the decimal form. So we will solve these all examples of that fraction form. How to change into the decimal form. Okay. So here 5 by 10 is given. 5 by 10. 5 divided by 10. So that is at 0 0.5. Because the decimal point is one step forward. So when one zero is there, the so decimal step will move one step. So 0 0.5. Next is given 2 by 100. Means 2 divided by 100. So here the decimal point is two step going 0 0.02. 100 is there. 2 zero as given. So decimal point is 1 and 2 means that 0 0.02. Third number example you can see 4 by 1000. So here 3 zero are there. So decimal point 3 step moving. 0 0.004. 0 0.004. 3 step it is moving. Here you can see 10 is given, here 100 is given, here 1000 is given, 10 is given, so decimal point 1 step moving, 100 means 2 zero, decimal point 2 step moving, and 1000, 3 zero, so decimal point 3 step is moving. So you can see the 0 0.5 decimal point 1 step moving. 0 0.02 decimal point 2 step is equal to 2 zero are given, so 2 step moving. Here 3 zero are given, so decimal point 3 step moving. Okay. So now we will see that 25 by 10. So here where do we keep decimal point? So the 1 step is moving, so 2.5. 2.5. Decimal point will come at 5. 64 by 100. 64 by 100. Right now, you think decimal point is here. 64.0. That way, decimal point is there. Right now, 100 is there. So, it will move 2 steps. So, it will come 0 0.64. 0 0.64. Yes, so it is the right that answer. 
245 by 100 2.45. Next is the 328. 328 is given. So 1000 is there. 328 by 1000. So decimal point is here. It is going three step. One, two, and three step. So zero point. 328 0 0.328 So these are the that fraction form will change into the decimal form You can see this 5 is there So 5 out of 10 changes into 0 0.5 2 by 100 changes into 0 0.02 4 by 1000 Change into 0 0.004. 25 by 10 is 2.5. 64 by 100, 0 0.64. 48 by 1000, that is 0 0.048. Same way, 342, 34.2. 245 by 100, so 2.45. And 328 by 1000, so 0 0.328, 0 0.328, Okay, so this is that form, that fraction form changes into decimal form. Okay, now we will see this, change the following into the fraction form. Here, decimal form is given. This decimal form will change into the fraction form like a reverse process of this. Okay. 0 0.3. 0 0.3 means we will write 10 will be here to 3 by 10. Decimal point we are having then 3 by 10. 0 0.07. So we will write 7 by 100. We got decimal point and two steps are there, two digits are there. So 7 by 100. 0 0.005. 3, 1, 2 and 3 means that 5 by 1000. 5 by 1000. We got 3, 1, 2 and 3 digits are there, 3 steps are there. Okay, so that 5 by 1000. One Here we will see 9.2 is given. So, point and one digit is there. So, 92 by 10. You can see 0 0.3, 3 by 10, 0 0.07, 7 by 100, 0 0.005, 5 by 1000. 9.2 means 92 by 10. 2.24 2.24 So 2.24 means 224 by 100 because point and 2 steps are 2 digits are there So 1 and 2 means 2 digits so 100 0 0.045 0 0.045 and Point then how many digits are there? 1, 2 and 3 means 45 by 1000. 3 zero will come. 1, 10, 100 means that 1, 2 and 3 digits. 10, 100, 10, 100, 1000. So 1000. You can see here. Here point then 1 digit. So it is 10. Point then 2 digits. 10, 100, 100, point then 3 digits, then 10, 100 and 1000. Okay, so next is there 24.1. So 24.1 changes into 221 by 10. Point then 1 digit means 10 is there, 24 by 10. 6.34. So we'll change. 
1634 by 100 because point then two steps 10 and 100 so 634 by 100 0 0.180 point then three steps 10 100 and 1000 so 180 by 1000 180 by 1000 you can see here that steps are given here 0 0.3 3 by 10 0 0.07 7 by 100 0 0.005 means 10 100 and 1000 so 5 by 1000 9.2 this is 92 by 10 2.24 224 by 100 0 0.045 means 44 45 by 1000 24.1 means 241 by 10 6.34 means that 634 by 100 and 0 0.180 means 180 by 1000 so this way you can change that fraction form into the decimal form and decimal form into the fraction form ok I hope you understand this well ok thank you children bye I think then I will find hope you all are fine and well. Okay, let's see a chapter decimal and in decimal we'll see that addition of decimal and subtraction of decimal. So how to add decimal that we'll see first. So here some is given first you can see the sum is that 56.345 plus 74.76 plus 897.5 
point. Six plus one seven. Seven plus four eleven. Eleven plus seven that is eighteen. So eight and one carry over here. Five plus one that is six. Six plus seven thirty. Thirty plus nine twenty two. So we are keeping two here and two carry over. Two plus eight that is ten. So final answer is there. That is one thousand twenty eight point two zero three. One thousand twenty eight point two zero three. So this way we can add very easily that unlike decimals are there. These decimals are unlike. First of all, we change into the like decimals. Then we can add very easily. We have another sum that you can see: two hundred forty-two point one four plus two point four. So this sum you can add very easily. We write two hundred forty-two point one four. Now two point four we are writing this way. Keep here zero. That happen. The key is zero and equal this way. That is called like decimal. So now we can add very easily. Four plus zero one four. One plus four five. Two plus two four. Four plus zero four. Two plus zero two. So this answer is that one. Two hundred forty four point five. Four two hundred forty four point five four. So this way we can add very easily. Now that next sum is there that we will see subtraction of decimal. Addition of decimal we have done. It is very easy. We can easily we can add by doing that like decimal. Now subtraction of decimal. So here sum. Given that seven hundred eighty nine point six seven eight minus two hundred thirty point four three two. So we'll see now seven hundred eighty nine point six hundred seventy eight minus two hundred thirty. Minus four three two. So very easily we can subtract that two hundred thirteen point four three two from seven hundred eighty nine point six seven eight. So we'll subtract see that eight minus two seven six seven minus three that is four six minus four. Two point is there decimal point, so we keep decimal point here. Nine minus three that is six. Eight minus one seven. And seven minus two that is five. So answer is given five hundred seventy six point two four six. Five hundred seventy six point two four six. So we can see that very easily we can. Subtract from the given numbers. Next is there that two hundred fifty minus two point five. This also we can subtract very easily. Two hundred fifty point zero we will write minus two point five. Here decimal point is not given. 250 decimal point is not given, so 250.0 minus 2.5. So here very easily we can subtract. Zero is there, we keep 10. Keep this zero, the nine, five plus four. Ten minus five is five. Nine minus two that is seven. Four is there, four. This two is there, that very easily we can. So 247.5, 247.5. So 
hard is the answer. So this way you can very easily subtract. So one sum I am showing you that is 100 minus 3.7. 100 minus 3.7 we need to do. We will write first 100 point 0 minus 3.7 3.7 so very easily you can subtract 0 is there 10 0 9 this 0 9 and 1 then 0 so according to the subtraction rules we have done carry out 10 then change 9 9 and 0 10 minus 7 3 point 9 minus 3 6 9 then keep the 9 same to same so 96.3 96.3 the answer so this way we can add decimal and subtraction very easily by doing that by changing that unlike decimal into the like decimal this way we can very easily change and we can very easily add or subtract decimal. I hope you understand this better.